This screencast will detail how to use Aspen Plus software to fulfill design specifications. Recall that the problem statement required the ethyl acetate product stream to have a purity of 98 weight percent. After running the simulation, we learned that our single flash separator could not meet this target purity alone, as a ternary azeotrope forms between ethyl acetate, water, and ethanol. We would instead like to achieve our desired 98 weight percent purity by first separating out the acetic acid from the ternary azeotropic mixture, and then separating out the ethyl acetate in a subsequent column. This is achievable through adding additional unit operations and using the design specifications tool in Aspen Plus. To begin, open the ethyl acetate plant simulation beginning from chapter 2.3. Create a new radfrac block and connect the effluent out of the reactor to the input port. Create the two outlet streams. Go to the column specifications and input the number of stages as 10. The column should have a total condenser with a vapor liquid phase, a bottoms rate of 35 kg per minute, and a molar reflux ratio of 2. The feed should come in on stage 5, and the pressure at the top of the condenser is 1 bar. Aspen provides two ways to input design specifications, either in a submenu located under the block in question, or as part of the overall flow sheet options. We will first demonstrate the former. On the menu tree under the column block folder, click on Design Specifications. Click on New and double click the row. Create a new specification. Name the variable AA recovery. Specify the type as mole recovery with a target of 0.999. The component is acetic acid and the product stream is the bottoms of the column. On the Vary tab, we will iterate over a range of bottoms flow rates. Specify the type as bottoms rate, the lower bound is 2000 kg per hour and the upper bound is 5000 kg per hour. Run the simulation. Aspen will give you a dialog stating an error has been encountered. Radfrac has not converged in the default number of iterations. Go to the convergence menu item under the column block. Change the max number of iterations to 200. Now rerun the simulation. Go to the stream results under the column block in the menu tree. We can see that virtually all the acetic acid leaves in the bottoms, and virtually all the ethyl acetate leaves in the distillate. Place a mixer block on the flow sheet. Go to the separators tab and place a decanter after the mixer. Then place a final radfrac block after the decanter. Water is added to the ternary distillate to pass the azeotropic boundary, and the mixture is fed into a decanter to separate out the aqueous phase. The organic stream is then sent to a second column, which yields an ethyl acetate rich bottoms, and a distillate which is recycled to the mixer to achieve a higher purity separation. For the water stream, enter 25 degrees Celsius, one bar, and a flow rate of 200 kg per minute. Go to the decanter specifications. The pressure is one bar and the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. The second liquid phase is water. The effluent goes into a final column where pure ethyl acetate exits the bottom. Go to the specifications of the second column. The number of stages is 15 with a total condenser. The distillate rate is 18,500 kg per hour, and the molar reflux ratio is 5. The feed stage comes in on stage 8, and the pressure at the condenser is 1 bar. Now we will demonstrate how to create design specifications as a property of the overall flow sheet. This is useful when we want to manipulate streams or variables that do not pertain to the same block. Go to the flow sheeting options under the menu tree and click Design Specs. Create a new spec and call it EA Purity. Create a new variable called Purity. In the reference area, choose Mass Frac as type, the final ethyl acetate stream as the stream, and the component as ethyl acetate. Go to the Spec tab. Enter Purity as a specification name, the target as 0.98, and the tolerance as 0.0001. Go to the Vary tab. Enter mass flow as a type, water for stream, water for the component, and the units as kilograms per minute. Enter the lower limit as 200 and the upper limit as 800. Run the simulation and view the results. As you can see, a 98% ethyl acetate stream leaves the bottom of the final distillation column. Some methyl acetate exits as distillate and is recycled back into the decanter. Notice that there is no recycle from the acetic acid separations column back to the reactor. This could be implemented for increased process efficiency. But because there is no minimum production requirement in the problem statement, it has been omitted for simplicity. The implementation is left to the viewer as an exercise.
Watch the following video in the YouTube playlist to learn how to conduct a sensitivity analysis in Aspen Plus software. For more tutorials, visit the Cornell CBE YouTube channel.